It's Richard with Matthews Wealth Management. Uh, today we're going to be covering April 2024. I'm a month late getting this out there, so I apologize. You'll see that. You'll notice that very obviously. So, yeah, so I wanted to show where we were at the end of April. Obviously, May, it's now June. So, I'm doing two of these today. Um, April was a really rough go, and this is NASDAQ, of course, uh, still up almost 16% on the year, but that scared everybody to death. Uh, that was well, we'll cover what's going on there. Um, same thing, S&P up 12, big drop, uh, big recovery in the month of May, which you'll see next month. And uh, if we look all the way at what happened uh, in April, um, well, year to date, 3.15 is weird. This is rare, by the way. I don't typically uh, miss a month, but I did. And so that's the way the world works. Um, same situation here. It was 5.11 uh, back in uh, the end of April. So let's talk about those April numbers because they were really, really, really rough. Uh, you can see every single equity was down pretty substantially for the month. And look what it did to the year to date. You had large growth at 3.7% for the year after they had been just crushing it. Uh, core was is by far the best at 8. You had 4.4 on the value after it had lost roughly half of what it was. 333, negative, zero, negative. So small caps are hurting the most and sixes across the board. That wiped out pretty much everything in small caps. Uh, fast forward to international, international terrible, but emerging markets still positive, still boring on the year, but uh, it's interesting. You don't typically see that negative correlation there. It has to do with currencies, has to do with debt, has to do with bonds, um, and the lack of Fed rate cuts. That's what the world is always talking about is rate cuts. So look at the bonds, right? If we're not going to have rate cuts, um, you know, the bonds, that's the big key is that as people expect rate cuts, bonds would go up. That kind of disappeared in the month of April, and so everything fell off. Look at long terms, right? Getting hammered. We're very um, pro long term bonds here at Matthews Wealth Management, but to lose five and a half in a single month, um, and then to be down seven on the year, keep in mind we were up about twenty percent last year. So uh, just giving up that gain, uh, continuing to give up that gain. Everything was down in the month of April. Um, the only thing positive are short terms and high yields. So. Commodities, oil just kind of flat, gets worse in May, but uh, gold continuing to climb, inflation. <laughs> so that's the hedge. Real estate getting hammered in that month, and it had been pretty much flat. I've been saying I'm not a big fan of real estate for this year, just uh, the commercial side, the residential side. It's there as far as uh, asset value on the residential side, but you know, just not much volume with these interest rates being high. <laughs> Bitcoin, it's just volatile. Um, it bounces back the month of May, but lose 13% in a month is really rough. Again, that goes hand in hand with tech stocks. It's the same correlation. Okay, year to date, NASDAQ gave up pretty much everything. <laughs> Downs are uh, only up 6% on the year. S&P is actually beating it in the month of April, which is shocking. Uh, Dow Jones moderate, ugh, half a percent year to date. It's better than zero, but it's not even inflationary. And we're happy, yay, 2.75%. Not great, but uh, beating what we kind of track, uh, it is what it is. So that is the month of April. Stay tuned, look at the May, and I'll also do the April balance sheet next. So see you next time.